Welcome to Good We Training Series. Today, we will take you through the installation and configuration of parallel inverter system of ET50. For single inverter installation, please refer to the ET50 installation video. If you need to connect two or more inverters, the master and other slaves need to be installed separately. The S-Link 3000 is only needed for the master inverter instead of Wi-Fi dongle. The master inverter issues commands to the slave inverters via the communication cables. This solution supports up to four inverters in parallel. If the on-grid and off-grid switching function is required, or diesel generator access, STS needs to be installed. Step 1. Take down the COM cover. Now you can see different communication ports for COM cable connections. Follow the example to install the included RJ45 network cable into the COM cover. Please make sure the RJ45 modular plug is inward to the COM ports. And put the COM cover on and tighten the bottom. Insert the other RJ45 modular plug end of the communication cable into the slave inverter. Step 2. Install S-Link 3000 to the master inverter. Step 3. Connect the battery cable and battery communication cable. Connect the BMS communication cable between the battery and each corresponding inverter. Connect to the meter port using the included RJ45 network cable. Install the meter and connect to the master inverter. At last, install the CT. Step 4. Please repeat the above procedures for slaves except S-Link and meter and connect the master inverter to the slave inverters. Insert the other RJ45 modular plug end of the communication cable into the slave inverter. Tighten the cable nut. Step 5. Connect DC cables and then power on. Now you can power on the system and you can see the power LED indicator is on. Step 6. Parallel inverter system configuration via SolarGo. Enter SolarGo and make sure you switch to local mode. Select a Bluetooth signal, which starts with SOLBL and ends with the last 8 digital of the device SN. Go to More and then click Basic Setting. Enter the actual connected inverters in the system. Select Safety Code. Select Working Mode. Choose the corresponding batteries and pass the meter test accordingly. Now you can go to the home page and refresh the page to see the total number of Perald Inverter and their status. Step 7. Configure Eslink 3000 Network. Select More Dash Communication Setting. If using Wi-Fi communication, you need to fill in the network name, encryption, and password for the ESLink to connect to the router. In addition, the ET50 can achieve UPS level switch time. That's all for the installation and configuration of parallel inverter system of ET50. Thank you for watching. For more installation and configuration videos of Goodwe Training Series, please visit our Goodwe community and stay tuned to our official account.